welcome to the winning post. We do hope you had a good weekend last weekend. A bit tough for me, uh, but well, um, an overall a good weekend. Congratulations to the uh, winners of both the Oaks the, and the Ruya looking ahead to the Derby. But uh, a two a two race meet weekend. Hi, Boyd. Thanks for having me on the show. We've got two days of racing. Let's start, uh, gentlemen, uh, at the very top. The Mrs. Patmore Blade, a class 5 race, and I'm going Gold Diva to win this uh, from Shadows and Tufan to finish third. But I think Gold Diva uh, and Shadows should, should be the, the pair should be safe. I would give first chance to Gold Diva, followed by Gimme, and third chance I would give Tufan. All right, the second race of the day, and do do forgive the cows in the background uh, so, uh, where I am. But look, uh, successor has really come into his own. You know, he's matured. He's looking like a term horse, and I think he's going to take all the beating. I, I think he's the horse that everyone has to beat. Um, Cody Leon, uh, I thought was impressive last time. Still on the up, will run second in my view, and Camilla to finish third. First chance, obviously. To last time out winner Cote de Lyon, bottom weight, next chance will be the top weight successor who has also done nothing wrong so far and third giant star. Okay the third race the March Beach Trophy and for me uh, this was a tough one you know Atash has uh, uh, you know is backing up from last week but I'm going to go with Dali Swirl. I think he's a horse who's, who's got a bit of ability. So for me, it's Dali Swirl from Atash uh, to run second. Atash, first chance, needed that run that day. Five along also was a little sharp for her. The strip would suit her better and she'll be all for the better now. So I'd give Atash first chance, followed by Balenciaga next. And third, I would give San Salvatore. Last time the six he ran on there, the seven would be much better. Okay, the fourth race and, and these cows are really annoying me now, but Golden Neil for me stands out here. Um, was going to go with him as my day's best, but Golden Neil for me uh, to, to win this. I, I like Golden Neil quite a bit, yeah. Runaway winner Golden Neil. Though going over a mile and a quarter, we have to see whether he stays, but you have to still give him the first choice because he won very impressively last time. Followed by bottom weighted Treasure Gold, who will relish this trip. And third, Leto, who has always been good the moment he's been put in over a trip. Okay, the fifth one is the juvenile race. Now always difficult, but it's a five furlong race. And you know, uh, Cordelia seems to have been working well, seems to be a nice horse. I'm gonna go with Cordelia uh, to win this. I think Juliana is another one who's been working quite a bit, looks fit. And the very well-bred giant star uh, out of Asteros. I think this is your one, two, three. Uh, I think Cordelia and Juliana, a bit awkwardly drawn giant star has the edge there, but I'm going to go with Cordelia. A maiden race for three-year-olds only. My first chance obviously would be Cordela, brother to multifaceted, and we all know what multifaceted has done. Followed by Sorrento Secret of Dallas Storywallas, who's been working very well. And third chance again would be Pacey's horse, Generosity with Pete Trevor up. Okay, the sixth race, the Mrs. Patmore played Division 2, and I must be a glutton for punishment because I've been following Brave Beauty, lost a lot on her, but I'm going to stick with her, play Brave Beauty to win this. I'm going to give her one more time, uh, one more uh, opportunity for me at least, Brave Beauty to win this from uh, Attained. First chance would be attained. That day, maybe he was a little too late on the scene, followed by Brave Beauty, who was running after a layoff and came on and ran very decently. And third chance would be Sweet Emotion. Okay, the Thumbelina Blade next. And um, coming down in class, Super Lagara, I'm going to go with Super Lagara to win this from Dalsabel and Jetfire to, uh, to, to, to perform off his. Last win and run first. First chance, Super Legera. She's come down in class. Should should have the running of these horses. Second chance would be Jet Typhoon. Last time out, impressive winner. Followed by Jet Fire. 
In the last race of the day is the Bike Luck Club Cup Trophy and just four horses. Uh, it's interesting here, Shamani uh, looks like the obvious choice. Kamari has come out and beat me uh, uh, yeah, just a few weeks ago. Uh, I'm going to stick with that form. I'm going to go Kamaria to beat Shamani uh, and uh, truly epic to run third. Shamonix, who everybody knows will stay, was unlucky last time because of that slow run race and I think the boy just couldn't judge it too well, followed by truly epic. Right. Okay. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We do hope you have a good weekend. We'll see you back with the, uh, with tomorrow's race card as well. Do uh, stay tuned, bet responsibly, and enjoy the races. May the horse be with you. Goodbye. Yes, Maud. Thanks a lot. All the best.